Hello everyone, Darcy Bono here. In this video, we're going to look at painting the notoriously difficult human face. And we're going to do this in almost no time using one or two paints. So we're going to be using contrast paints in this because they are much more beginner friendly than the traditional layering technique. And in this video, we're just painting to tabletop standard, focusing on setting up a nice smooth skin tone. Then when you feel more comfortable and have gotten a little more brush control, you can go back in and do the fine details such as the eyes, lips, and teeth. And these details are gonna be much more prominent because they're not buried under layers of paint. So this is ultimately gonna to provide you with a very quick and easy foundation on which to build more details. All the heads in this video were first prime white using Citadel White Scar Spray. Now you can use whatever white primer you wish, but I do caution you stay away from the cheaper hardware store brands. They tend to obscure details substantially. They're great for terrain, not great for faces. Secondly, paint everything around the face first before you start the skin tone. The hair, the collar, any helmets they have, take care of those first so you don't risk getting paint on your nice smooth skin tone later. Okay, that's enough forewarning. Let's get this show on the road. All we're gonna do is mix Karoberg Crimson Shade and Agrax Earthshade in a one to three ratio. We're not even thinning it. And then just apply it directly over this white surface and there it is. The only thing you really need to look out for while you're doing this is pooling. That's just an oversaturation of the shade in a particular area. In this case, I'm just wiping out these eye sockets so they're not red craters staring at me. And here is the same skin tone, but on a slightly more detailed face. And the reason I wanted to show you this was because there is a very easy trick you can do to highlight without actually adding any additional paint. In fact, you're going to be taking it away. As soon as you apply your shade, take a damp brush. It doesn't have to have any medium on it, just a damp brush and lightly wipe away the most pronounced areas so that white will shine through brighter and create a highlight. So his chin, his nose, his cheekbones, his brows, anywhere you think should look a little bit lighter. But it is imperative that you do this immediately after applying the shade as soon as you can, because you don't want it to dry at all. Otherwise it'll come up in patches instead of a gradient. So let's paint another face, this time using only one paint. I am going to point out that I did break my own rule and was entirely too over eager. You're gonna see me painting the skin first. Do not do that. I should have painted the collar and helmet first. So do that first and then take Gilliman Flesh Contrast. We're not thinning it. We are applying it straight from the pot directly over this face. And same thing that we saw in the last face, just keep an eye out for pooling. Use a damp brush to wipe away any oversaturation or to create highlights on areas that you want to look lighter. And here she is with her details all filled out. So I did add a sliver of wildwood brown contrast there since her mouth is slightly open. But other than that, that's all just the Gilliman flesh we did. And very quickly, I just wanna show you a very easy way of adding some additional depth to this face. And you don't even have to change your color. We're going to use Gilliman flesh that we used before, and we're going to thin it in about a one-to-one -one ratio with contrast medium. You just want it very transparent and we're going to lightly pat it in the cheekbones here, just adding a little bit of contour to her face. And then we're also going to do the same thing and apply it around her nose. This is called recess shading. You're just adding a little bit of intensity to the darker parts of the miniature. And by doing that, you're adding contrast and definition without even adding a highlight. And finally, let's paint a dark skin tone just using one paint. We're going to be using Saigor Brown to create a nice warm skin tone. And this is a very dense contrast paint. So do thin it with contrast medium, just about half a drop. You don't want it too thin. You still want this fairly pigmented. And I am realizing that I should have been more careful painting the chin strap of that helmet, but I will touch it up as soon as this Saigor Brown dries. And here's what it looks like once it's all dry. I did go ahead and just lighten the chin strap just to create a bit more contrast and definition between the darker skin and the previously darker chin strap. But that Saigor Brown is it. That's all we did. There's no additional highlights right now. If you do want to add an additional highlight color, use Mornfang Brown and you'll get something that looks like this. This was done the exact same way. Saigor Brown, let it dry, highlight Mornfang Brown on the cheekbones and nose and forehead, and you get a nice warm brown skin tone. So that is it. Obviously, there's still the fine details left to do, but as far as getting them tabletop standard in absolutely zero time and minimal effort and skill, 
that is the best way I know to do it. And keep in mind, this is insanely zoomed in. From a normal viewing angle, as if you were like crouched down looking at someone's army, they look pretty close to 100%, especially the guardsmen with the helmets, because you can't even see the eyes then. So I hope this took some of the fear out of painting faces. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you're feeling exceptionally generous, you can hit the button that says super thanks. This is a new feature that allows you to send me a little monetary appreciation via YouTube. So thanks very much for watching everyone, and until we meet again, happy painting!